Now there's a pretty good chance that you're having the same problems that I was having with bringing images into Photoshop and adding them as layers into your current document. Let me show you exactly what I mean here. The problem is, is that you have your document ready to go, but then you go to open your image into Photoshop. It's really easy to do that. You probably already know how to do it. You just go to file, open, or you press command or control O on your keyboard. From there, you find the files on your computer that you want. You can select multiple if you're into that kind of thing, and then you just click open. But then here's what happens. All of your photos open up, but they all opened in different tabs. None of them are in the document that we were trying to work with initially. Of course, you can grab the move tool, drag and drop it over, but if you're working with multiple images, this is nothing but a huge pain in the butt. Now, another workaround to this is you might know that you can go and find these files on your computer, select them, and then just drag and drop them into your particular canvas, but then you face another set of problems. For every image that you add into your project, you have to manually place it by pressing the check mark over and over and over again for all of your images. And if you're adding a lot of images into a new document, this is gonna take a lot of time. So in this tutorial, I wanna show you a more effective way of adding your images as layers in Photoshop and a few settings you can adjust to streamline this entire process so you can actually drag and drop tons of photos into a single document and add them all as layers really quickly. So let's get started. Friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and today you're going to learn how to import images as layers here in Photoshop. This process just streamlines your workflow so you don't have to drag and drop all your images into a different project. Everything is imported as layers and it's ready to go right out of the gate. To do this, all we have to do is go to File and down here to Scripts and then to Load Files and to Stack. Clicking on that option, we can now choose to select individual files or a single folder with all of the files inside. In this case, I'm gonna select the Files option, go to Browse, and now we can go and select some photos on my computer. Now these are the three photos that I want to import, so I'll hold the Shift key and click between all of the images. With all of those photos selected, I'm gonna click Open, and these will be the images that we actually import as layers here in Photoshop. If you accidentally import a photo that you realize you don't want, you can just click on it and then press remove. And that's gonna delete it from this load layers dialog box and it will not import that photo as a layer. Once everything is in order, we're gonna make sure both of these options are unchecked and then we can go and click okay. That's gonna import all of those photos into a separate document and load them as layers as you can see here. Now there are two different things to note with this process. The first thing is that the canvas that's created will automatically be sized for the largest photo in your stack. So for example, as you can see here, the largest photo that I have is the sky image, but then the next photo is slightly smaller, which is why there's all this transparent area. And then the logo is even smaller than that. So our project has been created based on the largest image size. Now the second thing to notice is that all of our layers are already named, and that's because when you load your files into a stack like we just did, all of your layers will match the photo names from the import. So blue sky, hiking image, and watermark were all the names of the files on my computer when I imported them. So to keep things organized, it's nice to do all of your naming beforehand on your computer so then when you bring it into Photoshop, everything is already labeled for you. Now in this case, I want to move these photos into a different document with a different sizing. So all I have to do is hold the shift key, click between all the layers, grab my move tool by pressing V, and then click and drag it over into my other project like so, and then I can position it as I need. From here, you can go and edit your images as needed. You can scale them up to fit your project by just grabbing the move tool once again, and then you can go and edit your images as you'd like. All of your photos are now imported as layers, so you can just begin working. You don't have to worry about importing anything else. Now, what if you have a project where you already have some photos imported and you wanna add another image, but directly into that particular project? So for example, let's go and delete this blue sky layer. I'll just click it and press the delete key to get rid of it. Now it's completely gone from our layers panel. Now let's go and add it back into this project, but without opening it into a separate document. So to do that, we want to avoid using this open option because that's gonna open that image in a separate document. Instead, we're gonna go down to place embedded. 
Clicking on that, we can now go and find the file that we want to import. We can only import one file at a time with this method. As you can see, if I try to click the other options, it will not let me select it. You can only import one photo at a time with this. And then with that layer selected, just click place. And now your photo will be added into your active project. You can press the check mark to commit to that. And now your photo is added back into the image. Now with this method, as you can see, we've actually have this layer added as a smart object and when we added the photo, you notice how we had a transform box around the image. The same thing happens if we drag and drop our photos into our canvas. So for example, I'll press the delete key once again, go and find the image I want to import from my computer, drag and drop it, and the same thing will happen here. A transform box is automatically around my image, so I have to actually commit to those changes by pressing the check mark before I can go and edit anything, and then after it's placed, it's added as a smart object. So what if you don't want either of those things? Because because like you saw earlier at the start of the video, when you go and import a bunch of files at once, you have to manually place every single one. So you gotta keep clicking that check mark. Instead, we can go and adjust some Photoshop settings so that that doesn't happen. To do this, what we'll do is go up to Photoshop, down here to preferences, and then general. Inside of this preferences option, you have this one option here that says skip transform when placing. By checking that off, you will no longer have to use the transform box when you place a new layer into your Photoshop project. That way you could actually drag and drop a bunch of photos straight into Photoshop and you wouldn't have to worry about placing anything. It would automatically be added for you. I'll give you an example of this in just a minute. Now the second thing is like you saw over here, the layers are automatically added as smart objects. And that's because of this option right here, always create smart objects objects when placing. By unchecking this, our layers will not be placed as smart objects, so then you can directly edit all of your layers. With our preference settings changed, I'll click OK, and let's go and actually import all of these photos once again with a drag and drop method. So I'm going to shift click all these layers, delete them, and then now go and find those files on my computer once again. Shift clicking all of these images from my computer, I'll just click and drag them over into the project that I want to add them into, let go, and now look what happens. All of my photos were instantly imported into my project, I didn't have to transform anything, I didn't have to commit to any changes, and all of them are directly editable as they are not smart objects. So this way you don't actually have to go through the longer process of file scripts and then load files into stack by unchecking those two options and preferences you can just drag and drop photos directly from your computer into your project that you're wanting to work with and all of your images will load as new layers it's really as easy as that and this is an awesome trick that i like to use to just speed up my workflow when i'm adding multiple photos here in photoshop so now you know how to import images as layers in photoshop really easily using a few different methods my favorite way of doing this is the drag and drop method because it's just so fast and easy you don't have to go and click through the menu options you just find the photos on your computer and drag and drop them into photoshop but again this is only efficient and works the best once you've gone and changed those preferences within your photoshop settings now if you learned something today and you enjoyed today's tutorial then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference so that other people can see this video and it helps to support my channel anyways guys that's all i have for you for today again my name is brendan from bewellcreative.com and i'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial see you then Thank you.